Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is the 31st of January and I have some news for you this time regarding the gaming industry in China. Now, of course, you guys are aware that a ban on the sale of game consoles and, of course, games themselves in China that lasted for over a decade was finally lifted late last year. And the Chinese government, of course, did allow game consoles to be sold in China as long as they followed certain rules and regulations. Now certain rules such as the expected censorship and content governance rules are probably never going to change or at least maybe become a little bit more lenient but probably not. However there is one thing that is changing and that is the other rules such as say the maximum number of units that could be sold, rules limiting where they could be sold or manufactured as today the government did announce that they were easing up on those particular restrictions as consoles can now be manufactured and sold across the country without restrictions not just in free trade zones such as Shanghai as they originally detailed when they first lifted the ban. Now of course this is going to come as quite a nice welcome surprise with Sony and Microsoft as of course it naturally quite heavily expands the market they can reach. Of course at the moment the Xbox One is currently the only console selling in the region. Um, it had a very successful launch but then it slowed down basically due to the content and local content issues of course. You can only sell a certain amount of games due to their rules etc 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 before the Chinese government sold it so they had a little bit of a game uh, supply problem but of course now with these changes that should be lifted of course the ps4 and ps vita were supposed to do were supposed to launch there sorry should i say earlier this month but it was delayed at the last minute and no re yet new release date has yet been announced and it's possible that they didn't quite meet the government's um guidelines but perhaps now that they've loosened up on those guidelines somewhat they may indeed actually finally release the PS4 and PS Vita in the region. And of course we haven't heard any peep from Nintendo regarding console sales in China at all, 3DS or Wii U. So maybe now that you basically have free reign to sell and manufacture consoles in whatever part of China you wish, you still have to of course adhere to the... Um, censorship and content governance rules and stuff like that so you can't sell every game ever there but you don't you're not limited on the amount that can be sold or where it can be sold or anything like that so maybe now nintendo will actually consider bringing the wii u and 3ds over to china and we may even see the ps4 finally make its way over there and possibly even the Oya as well, as of course I did a video just the other day where Oya actually had a rather significant investment from the Chinese company Alibaba, $10 million in fact. And they may indeed be making an appearance in the Chinese scene as well. And with only the Xbox One to contend with, well, they're definitely going to have an easier time than they did in the West. So it's going to be interesting. It's a brand new market with only the Xbox One on it at the moment, of course. It's going to change pretty soon, I imagine. And it's going to be very interesting how it is used to, you know, turn the tides in the favour of a certain company and whatnot. Of course, the Xbox One has a bit of an advantage worldwide with its console being the only one on sale there currently. So, so they need to hurry up their chops and get their consoles released there in Nintendo. Hopefully they can think about it as well. So, I'm going to be watching what happens there with very attentive eyes and I think it will be very interesting indeed. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.